Wow. Just wow. Wow. Oh my god. Who would in their right mind would have picked a 5-1 victory to the Dutch? Wow. Big it up YouTube. It's your boy Curtis Seven here for the review between Spain versus the Netherlands. 5-1 to the Netherlands. Mate, classy. Oh, bit unprofessional there with my phone, but let me just put that over there. Mates, just let me give it up for the uh, Dutch world-class performance. Honestly, lads, let's quickly go through the game. Uh, yeah, like I said, 5-1. Uh, Xavi Alonso scored a penalty for Spain to uh, kick things off, but let's be real. Diego Costa, mate, you dived like a dirty little... Ugh. I hate seeing that shit, honestly. It, it, it's, it's, that shit really does my head in. I hate it when all players do it, even United players. <coughs> Actually, um, <coughs> yeah, anyways, but, mate... Dived, should never have been a penalty, it should have been 5-0 this game, could you imagine that? But uh, anyways, Xavi Alonso scored the goal, 1-0 up, and uh, mate, for me, the most crucial goal of this game was uh, <laughs> Robin Van Persie right before halftime, mate, that diving header just went boom! Mate, what a goal that was! Mate, mate, that is one of the most difficult goals you can score in real life. And I'm not being biased here. I'm just going to say this, mate. Robin Van Persie, he is just class when it comes to first touches and volleys. Mate, outstanding, outstanding. And uh, what a goal to uh, lob that Casillas and make it 1-1 before halftime. Very crucial. Even Van Gaal, after the game, said tactically uh, that game was different because of that goal. He would have switched back to a 3-3. Three, uh, three, uh, sorry, a 4-3-3, and uh, he said the wingers would have been chasing their wingers too much, and it would have been pointless. But because of that goal, he left three at the back, and uh, yeah, mate, proved right, because after half time, boom, Robin came out the gates and put Netherlands ahead 2-1. Mate, Robin, for me, man of the match, he just did not stop running, causing havoc all day long for Ramos and uh, PK. They just didn't know how to handle him, and uh, scored another one in the uh, 80th minute, and uh, mate, Bob was your uncle there. And uh, sorry, just after, sorry, just before the uh, Robin goal, they scored a, another goal from set piece. So Wesley, uh, Wesley Schneider set piece there, and the defender uh, Stefan uh, scored the goal. And yeah, mate, five one. Van Persie, his second goal was uh, was pretty good too. And uh, mate, all I just want to say is. Uh, Netherlands, mate, everyone, including me, I'll put my hand in the air and I'll say, uh, yeah, we uh, we kind of rid off the Netherlands before this uh, World Cup, saying that, you know, they're coming to the uh, their downfall, shall we say, shall we say, shall we say, my God, uh, shall we say, <laughs> sorry, I had to get that out, anyways, Robin Van Persie coming to the his twilight years, same as Robin, same as Schneider. You know, they've got a lot of players that are missing. But uh mate, pff, Van Gaal and his tactics. World class, lad, world class, bring that to United, I'll be one happy man. But uh where does this le uh, leave Spain now? I know Spain lost their first uh, group game in the 2010 World Cup. Then they went to win the whole competition. But they did not get their pants pulled down and embarrassed like this. I don't know, man. I don't know. Chile, they beat Australia too and they look in the goods. Mate, I can easily see Netherlands and Chile going through. It's going to be uh, that Chile-Spain game's going to be through the roof. I can't wait to see that game. But, uh, mate, full credit to Van Hal and the boys. Tactically, they were spot on for this game with three at the back. And uh, the uh, fullbacks pushing forward. It really worked out a treat. And, uh, mate, it, it wasn't even just the goals. They were just attacking flat out. Van Persie hit the post, um, smashed the crossbar. And uh, that would have been a lovely goal as well. But, mate, they really stamped their authority on this tournament. And, uh, mate, the World Cup is here. Can't wait. But uh, Group B looks to be kicking. And I uh, feel sorry for Australia, but they got no hope. Uh, yeah, I predicted that as well. But uh, where does that leave Ike Casillas? Because he was making stupid, stupid mistake. And let's be real, guys. Our boy David De Gea. Mate, he should be getting a gig, shouldn't he? He should be starting in the next game. He has to be. He has to be. But uh, it's pretty. Uh, it'll be a crime if he doesn't start the next game, De Gea. But uh, hopefully he will. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next game, guys. I'm enjoying this World Cup. Are you guys enjoying this World Cup? But uh, if you are, get your comments down below. 
Yeah, get your comments down below. Should De Gea be starting in the next game? And uh, was that a penalty or was that not a penalty? Because definitely, clearly not a penalty in my opinion. David, um, David, uh, what's his name? Costa diving like uh, like he's Ashley Young and Luis Suarez, mate. That was terrible. But uh, anyways, lads, uh, that's going to come to the end of this review. Can't wait to do the next game. If you like this review, drop a thumbs up if you want me to do more. Get your comments in below. Subscribe to my channel for the World Cup content. There's heaps coming your way, lads. And uh, don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm tweeting throughout all the games during, during this World Cup. But uh, anyways, lads, I'll see you in the next video. At the end of the day, this is just my two cents. If you happen to give a fuck, take care and peace.